Love à la française, guys. Love à la française. <laughs> We're gonna have a wonderful talk today. <laughs> How to elevate your style. A lot of tips here for your brand, for your style, for your own confidence because you have it in you. Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue de la Ami Canal. Konnichiwa, watashino channel oni yokoso. I hope you're doing fine today. This is another day, another week and another video of me. When it comes to your personal style, it's a part of you, it's a part of your personality and it's the way you stand out the most because it's just unique to you. And I love it because it's not about trying to have a cover or trying to have a costume on you. No, it's not the case and it's not the point here. <laughs> But the point is for you to be much more clear in your messaging, using your personal style as a way to keep the eyes on you and be able to stand out even more. But today we're gonna start with the French style or the French touch or the Parisian touch. And who am I to say whatever I'm gonna say now? Well, I'm Lady Tomo, I'm a side coach and recovering shopaholic, ex-shopaholic, I would say it like that. I have my story that I kind of shared yesterday or just a couple of days ago. You're welcome to watch it and to kind of learn more about it and my own story. But here today, it's me being a side coach and I'm so dedicated and passionate about helping creative soul woman entrepreneur, just like you were watching at the moment, uncover the personal style using their video presence to be able to stand out more The start here is a tool to be able to build your confidence, build your business, or helps you to uncover your greatest gift. I need to say that I'm gonna use many different styles. I use the French touch, I'm gonna use the African swag, I'm gonna use K-pop as an inspiration here, more so where is the mindset, where they're coming from with K-pop in general. And the reason I do it is because I grew up with those three main styles, I would say, like that. A lot of it lived there and now I live here. So I got to see a lot of it. I got to see the l'art de vivre, la joie de vivre, like we say in French. There's not gonna be a baguette, there's not gonna be a beret, and there's not gonna be a striped t-shirt. I'm just saying, you know. French people or French women in general, they love to be timeless. I think it's something that comes back a lot. And I think that's something that a lot of people already know from the French culture. There's a lot of sophistication, a lot of chic part when it comes to it, but it's much more into an everyday type of uh, outfit. So it's gonna be the basic outfit every day, which tends to be a uniform. And it's amazing because if you're somebody that really loves the idea of having a capsule wardrobe, the French culture or the French touch is amazing for it because minimalistic, getting to a few pieces, few basics and really going to accessorize them to give them a different vibe. And it's always, always about how they want to feel based on how they should look like. So the trends, they're part of it, but it's an option. As I said in my videos, it has to be something that comes from you, not something that you should wear because it's trendy. You can be trendy if it's a part of you, because we have all types of personalities. And you know that you gotta stick to a kind of signature look and I talked a lot about signature look I think I kind of talk a lot on a couple of videos so I'm gonna link them somewhere here but super specific on the pieces that you wear the most and that's gonna help you save up the time the money and all those hassle that you have when you have a bigger closet and that's why I say having a capsule wardrobe is amazing for you if you love it if you're minimalistic develop a signature look is basing yourself on the pieces that you wear the most first first step the pieces you wear the most they're gonna be a part of you they're gonna be a part of your style more so they're gonna be a part of your branding when you show you up on videos people are gonna be able to recognize you and even more so the way you combine the pieces the way you shop yourself in those pieces people are gonna be remembering all of that because it's a part of you make it a signature look you gotta stick to the option of adding trends to your wardrobe minimalistic your background should reflect that as well. So kind of trying to put less things as possible behind you on the background is in general something that you gotta do when you shop on videos or whatever is behind you has to reflect a part of your personality but a part of whatever you do. Just change my background because back then I used to be in my bedroom. Now it's gonna be here. We'll see how long I'm gonna be able to use this space for. Tell you that you can change up the space and kind of test and try wherever you feel 
good if you want to kind of project that personality everything that's gonna be around you is gonna be a reflection of all of that and people are gonna be able to trust you more because they're gonna feel it the second thing I could say from the French culture is the essentials the basics and I did a video on basic in general that every woman should own and I'm gonna have my freebie down there as well French women they tend to stick to the basics they don't change much when it comes to the wardrobe if they need to add up something it's gonna be an accessory and usually they really gonna opt for accessories to take everything from day to night pretty quickly it's red lipstick that could be your trademark here and again a part of your branding could be that you can keep everything else really minimalistic you can keep a black t-shirt or white t-shirt or maybe not a white t-shirt if you have a white background it could be something that people are gonna remember whenever they watch your videos it's gonna be in their mind all the time because you kind of left that identity signature if you know most of the time it's gonna be the face another type of signature look could be sunglasses you know because sunglasses you can change a lot when it comes to sunglasses you can change the frames you can change the type of frame you can change the color the frame color as well all of that again is gonna be a part of your signature style which leads me to the third thing here from a French uh, woman <laughs> style perspective is the neutral neutral they're great if you don't like the colors again great it's amazing it's cool it's okay you gotta feel good in it you gotta feel good in your neutrals that's all that matters to be honest if you keep neutral they try to maybe play with soft layering if you have a uh, red hair for example like me it could be amazing again you don't need to do anything else try to avoid the white at all costs if you have a white background the hair that's just flowing and a great blogger that i love when it comes to neutrals it's emma hill it's probably one of the best she's british amazing it's cute I'm not a neutral. I'm not. I'm just not. The other thing is that curless look that French women they have, keeping it chic, but have everything else a little bit more into the not too done up either. I just woke up this morning, but I look fresh. I look cute. I don't look too done up. An effortless look. Where it's simple. It's basic. It's easy. But yet there's something that chic about it want to think about it that way and when it comes to the hair you can leave it in a curlless way but at the same time be careful here it's not about just leaving it like that <laughs> Sorry. and if you have a curly hair like me you know you can't do that just like that i wish i could wake up in the morning and just like you know no it's not it just it was the next thing is trench coat will always be your friend always always Always. next layer or the third layer that could be it for any type of uh, wardrobe in general but French women they tend to use it a lot in a tone most of the time if you keep it basic it could get boring that you can change your body it could be the third piece or it could be the accessories or any type of uh, makeup like I said before still could be in a neutral but when you layer if you keep some patterns or minimalistic patterns could be the stripes it could be the polka dots if you add it with a couple of accessories and a red lip you're good to go and the same thing could be applied being in front of the video for example you can play around with the layer you can play around with your own trench coat in front of the camera because at the end of the day people most of the time if you're talking they're gonna see that <laughs> you know add something that could be you so it could be a trench coat it could be your trademark as well play around with the layers play around with the trench coat play around with a couple of things that you can add up then it could be different and people can remember it because it's gonna be a vibe it's gonna be a feeling it's gonna be an emotion now we're gonna get to some cliche the britain striped shirt <laughs> It's not cliche because it's true. I mean, it's a part of the French culture and it's a cute, amazing pattern because stripes, they are amazing at going with a lot of different other patterns. So you can add up any type of color because if you keep it, let's see white and blue, which is usually the basic brown striped shirt, you can add a camel, you can add a black, you can add a white, you can add any type of warmer color if you want to. But again, it's gonna be a minimalistic here. The thing that I would say though is that when you have striped, because of the camera, it can create or can create for your viewers a kind of uh, dizzy feelings. So they're not gonna be able to focus much on whatever you're gonna say because of the feeling they're gonna get from your stripe. Avoid it at all costs when you're being on videos, but it could be a great way to start 
adding up patterns to your wardrobe if you're not a big fan of pattern. You can play with the texture as well. Is that everything is about fit. That's French women, they are really big into that. They love adding structure to their clothes. <laughs> it's not having a sweatshirt and just living it like that with no shape at all. French women, they are not a fan of it. <laughs> they are not. I got to have here in North America and street style type of uh, look. From the French culture perspective, the fit is essential. So anything that could be structured, that could be flattering your body, it's something that French women they love. <laughs> when I say fitted, it's still sophisticated, still being comfortable all at the same time. That's a bit of everything that I had to say on how you can elevate your style from a French perspective. I hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know if you love the series because this is just the first one. The next should be African swag. Until then, let me know what you like about it and let me know if you're a fan of French culture in general or if you're a fan of more so a minimalistic wardrobe or a capsule wardrobe idea or anything where you don't want to have too many pieces because it help it makes you waste the time and the money and you don't want to invest in too many pieces of that let me know in the comment section down below I have my soul inside alignment coaching program all the details are gonna be down below it's all gonna start in May but I know it's hard now I know this one is real so I offer monthly payment plans I want to support you the best that I can if you're really interested get to book your free discovery call and I'm gonna be able to know more of you and be able to know if we can be a good fit actually because I accept a few people and a few women only of course I'm gonna see you for my next video <laughs> until then like I said all the time j'espère que vous avez aimé la vidéo j'espère que vous avez adoré la vidéo je me suis amusée à parler de la culture française et de tout le côté uh, pièces accessoires la manière de s'habiller à la française qui vient plus d'un état d'esprit <rire> que de choses donc Laissez-moi savoir si vous avez aimé, laissez-moi savoir ce que vous pensez de la vidéo. Je vous laisse là, je vais vous dire bye et on va se voir à la prochaine vidéo. Je suis a great week. Like I say all the time, smile because it's free and contagious. Bye.